hey guys welcome back to another video so in our previous video we talked about this uh, website by the name 3d uh, design systems uh, so this is the support portal for this website and we are going to make this and we would be going to revamp uh, this a little bit for our learning purpose so getting started uh, this is my org so what I would do is first I would be setting up my digital experience so navigating to the setup and since uh, I am working on this or for the first time so when I would be writing as all sites so it won't display me any results see no matching items found so what I have to do is I have to go to digital uh, experiences and in here I have to click on the settings so my settings are loaded up and in this what you have to do is I have to enable digital experience and I have to save okay and there would be a prompt and we have to just click on ok and then click on uh, save so it would open me a new window so our digital experiences is opened and our all sites is now available okay so now what we have to do is I have to create my site so the name is support.3d design systems so we would be ma making it by this name so guys I would be uh, prompted upon to choose the experience template that uh, I wish to continue so among all these uh, I would be choosing the customer service template uh, this is the most uh, self-service template that uh, gives access to articles uh, cases collaboration groups discussions and much more so uh, this community helps uh, us to scale our product from our initial to our final destination so we would be making use of this and uh, 3d systems I would be writing the name and slash 3d systems so just the simple steps and after that it would take up some time to uh, load up your prompt and uh, this will uh, show you your community so since it is building up what we would be doing is till then we would be uh, creating a theme layout for uh, this section so basically with what is a theme layout so in uh, our aura component and lwc components a theme layout is way of structuring things by which we could lay out all the properties as defined okay we could have our custom pre-built things over um, this thing so what we would be going to do is i would be going to create a new uh, that is a lightning component this is the name is home page theme layout and it would be available for my experience site page and I would be clicking on submit so it gave me a blueprint of your aura component that implements your force community available for all pages and access global but I want it is force community uh, that is theme layout okay and what I would be doing is I would be creating a uh, certain app attributes so my main idea of this is we would be mostly utilizing our standard components like the search login the navigation bar so I would be making use of standards only so uh, what I am going to do is I am just going to drag and drop some items in here uh, but let's see our experience workspace has been loaded up and we would navigate back to the builder uh, till then I would be adding aura attribute the name is search and the type for this these would be 
or a component okay this thing so this is your or a attribute and similarly you would be creating some attributes for your footer so you would be writing or a attribute name is your sidebar footer and type again is uh, or a component so just copy paste uh, in here same you would be doing for some other things like uh, what you could say is the search bar is done and the footer section is also done now this is for login and navigation bar and once the user is logged in so you he would be able to see the profile menu also so uh, just copy pasting on the above thing and uh, in here uh, for sidebar footer thereafter profile menu then i would be writing nav uh, nav bar okay so all these things are there and uh, first let us give a look that how my community is looking so it is just all the standard that comes with my theme layout uh, just uh, what i would be doing is uh, i would be writing uh, div class so let us what i would do is first uh, we would be overriding this theme layout so i have just uh, uh, refreshed my page and what i would be doing is uh, in my component i would override this so see theme layout in our theme layout it is showing only two options default layout and login but my the layout of my uh, is home page theme layout the name so what uh, needs to be done is you would iterate to your theme and configure and you have to create a new theme layout by the name home page layout and you would be choosing our home page theme layout right and click on save when you click on save uh, now what you have to do is again go back to home and in this now click on override and now you could see home page layout on choosing this uh, your data would uh, load but in our case since we are not having anything so it would display me an empty page as it is showing in here so just by a authenticated user i would be uh, working over the changes that i would be making uh, throughout my uh, theme layout so i would be making use of uh, slds grids in here basically you could create uh, this by simple HT, uh, html and css properties also but what i prefer is like when salesforce is providing uh, you some standards so why not to go with those why to uh, make custom uh, work more uh, handy on your side so it is better that you keep the things um, as standard and as low as possible until and unless there is any need so SLDs grid I wrote and in here I would be writing div class is SLDs column and so I would be having these three columns so since our grid is there so I would be writing one uh, two and three so when I save this and I just let me check yeah and I refresh this so one two three are coming in a separate uh, single row only and I want these in three different rows so what needs to be done is I need to add something called SLDS uh, grid hyphen vertical so what it would do is it would uh, do all those things in my rows so yeah i would i'm getting these three rows now uh, since my structure is laid out what i would be doing is uh, i would be starting from our 3d systems so uh, 3d system this is our header section 
the second and the third so all this consists of your header section divided into three parts top middle and the bottom so i would be giving this name header top and in this what i would be writing is uh, okay in this so in this also i have to make use of sld's grids within this so div class is sld's grid and uh, just this and again i would be creating div class is sls column sls dash size i would be set as set up to let us say 8 of 12 so 8 of 12 and in here i would be writing uh, 3d systems i guess this is all in caps so uh, i could add in caps only in here or i could add a uh, css property also 3d systems so it is there and now it is 3d systems dot com dot and there is a shop icon option also so uh, div class sls column sl uh, size so the remaining size would be 4 out of 12 4 of 12 so this is it and in here I am having uh, two things 3d systems and shop so I would be writing 3d systems.com and in a span tag I would be also adding shop because it is there and I would be giving this class called shop and uh, header top and shop so our header top section is done 